Okay, good morning guys, welcome to another episode. So I'm here, back in the UK, finally. I've been away for about a year. Um, I've been kind of coming and going between the UK actually for like a day or so in between trips, so haven't really spent any time here. But I'm actually stoked to be here because there's been waves every single day. It's nice to catch up and surf with all my friends again. So yeah, actually stoked and gonna be staying here for a couple of weeks. So where I am now is a town called St. Ives. Uh, now St. Ives is a small town in the southwest of England in a county called Cornwall. Not my hometown technically, but it feels like home. It's where all my friends are. It's where I learned to surf. It's a super special place to me. It's where kind of all the older guys um, like inspired me to surf, inspired me to travel, kind of taught me how to surf as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a wicked place, gets its fair share of waves, especially at this time of year in the winter. So I'm hoping today is gonna be a good day of waves so I can feel the wind, which there isn't much of, so it's actually offshore and I think it's gonna be around three or four foot which could mean there's going to be some really fun waves. Just going to get ready, um, head down to the beach, so can't wait to show you guys what it's like, and I'll see you at the beach. Moment of truth, we're about to see the waves. <clears throat> Oh wow. Wow. It's kind of pumping. <clears throat> it's like three foot, really clean, like hardly any wind, like light offshore breeze. And the tide's just getting low enough that there could be some barrels. So yeah, that's super exciting. I've been here for like 10 days and this is like the be by far the best day um, So yeah, really excited and uh, yeah gonna get changed and get out there. Oh Wow Oh my gosh Yo, 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 hey, yeah, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into some of the ways we get here. Waves don't get that fun very often, but when it does happen, it kind of makes it all the more special just because you know, it's at home, it's with all your friends, so it's pretty sick. So outside of the water, St. Ives is a really, really special place. Um, it's kind of made up of all these old cobbled streets. In the winter, it's a bit of a ghost town. Um, as you saw this morning, okay, there's no one really around. In the summer, however, the place transforms into like this crazy hub of madness, really, um, and it gets pretty hectic. So yeah, it's, kind of, it's a really interesting place, you know, in the summer, loads of people from up country come down to come and enjoy the surf and the restaurants and bars and stuff. Then in the winter, um, nothing's really going on. So it makes for a really unique place. So a lot of the people that live in St. Ives, they spend all the summer working, earning as much money as possible. And then during the winter, they travel. So that's kind of like what I used to do and something that's inspired me to to travel as much as I do now. 
outside of the water, all in town, you've got restaurants, bars, cafes, uh, the surrounding coastline, as you can see, is absolutely beautiful. You know, we've got some of the best beaches and best harbors like in England, if not the world. Um, if you can time a trip with the sun, you know, it's, you can't really beat it. And yeah, all along that coast, there's heaps of different surf spots. I'm not gonna name all of them. You can find those for yourself. But yeah, wicked, wicked place to come and explore. If you're learning to surf or wanting to learn to surf in St. Ives, there's the one and only St. Ives Surf School. If you head down and see Harris and all the gang down there, they've got all the equipment and all the knowledge that you need to, um, to try surfing. And I'll leave the link in the description as to where you can check those guys out. I hope you've enjoyed this little breakdown of St. Ives. It's been a short and sweet video. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.